That's James Prescott Joule, a famous English physicist and mathematician who first discovered thermal energy. Boom! <laughs> Did you like my shocking entrance? James and his brother used to experiment with electricity by giving each other electric shocks. If you ask me, I think his brain is still a little fried. <laughs> Good day, James. My friends here would like to know more about how to prevent overheating, so we can help keep a robot cool. Ah, yes, heat. It's a form of energy, just like light. Light makes a place bright, while heat makes a place warm. To help cool something down, you first have to understand about heat. Heat is energy that moves between two objects when one is hotter than the other. Most materials expand when heated and contract when cooled. When this metal ball is heated, it gains heat and expands. As a result, the ball can't pass through the ring. What happens when the metal ball continues to be heated? Depending on the object, too much heat can cause cracks or meltdowns. Hey, I'm James too. James Dewar. That's James Dewar, the inventor of the vacuum flask. Ah, so he invented something. But did he have a unit of energy named after him? Pah, <laughs> show off. Anyway, I invented the vacuum flask, you know, which helps slow down heat transfer. Oh, how does it work? Well, I wanted to create a container that could store a cold substance for a longer period of time. I experimented with different materials. Finally, I realized that heat cannot travel from the outer wall to the inner wall if there is no air. There will be no convection. So, I remove the air to create a vacuum. Just like that, the cold substance in the flask remains cold. So, if the substance in the flask is warm, it remains warm for a longer time too? Precisely! Do some materials allow heat to flow through more easily than others? Absolutely! Materials that allow heat to flow through easily are called good conductors of heat. For example, a metal frying pan is a good conductor of heat, which is great for cooking food. While the plastic handle is a poor conductor of heat and helps to protect our hands from the heat while cooking. Sorry Mr. Dua, one second. Yes Tyler, is Aga okay? He's more than okay. I fixed them. You did? But I don't feel any better. Oh no, Tyler, what did you do? I just put Argo in the fridge. He'll stay cool for good now. Phew, this has been a really stressful day. No, no, don't, don't do, that. do that. Condensation will happen. Condensation? When water is heated, it gains heat and changes from a liquid to a gas. This is called evaporation. But when you put something in the fridge, it gets cold. When warm air from the outside gets in contact with the icy surface, the reverse happens as the gas loses heat and changes to liquid. This is called condensation. This liquid is not good for your robotic parts. And you really shouldn't expose electronics to fluctuating temperatures anyway. As it will damage the battery and core parts of its internal system. Tyler, take Argo out of the fridge now! Okay, okay, I'll take him out now! But it's still so hot out here, and I'm sweating so much! Sorry, just hang in there and continue blowing on Argo until we get back. No putting him in the fridge. Sweat. I wonder why we sweat. Sweating is our body's way of cooling down. Sweat evaporates from the skin, and the vapor takes away some of the heat with it. Is there any way to stop the heat wave in the real world? I'm afraid not. With global warming looming, the heat wave is something you will continue to face in the years to come. Oh no, we're killing the planet! Well, there are many little things you can do to help the environment. Raising the AC temperature to 25 degrees helps to save energy and is better for the environment. Or just don't use the AC if you can. Eat a watermelon. I promise. Every small step counts towards making the world a cooler place to live in. I think we should go. I have an idea on how to keep you cool. To watch more, subscribe to our YouTube channel.